Welcome, in this video we're talking about basic uh, terminal navigation. We're going to be looking at how to navigate from the terminal and we're going to look at how to understand our location relative to what we're trying to accomplish. So we're going to do a few different things. We're going to be doing change directory, we're going to be looking at listing directory content, we're going to be looking at current who uh, the user logged in as well as the directory, we're going to be looking at some of the help options, we're going to be looking at some of the manuals, and lastly, we're going to dive a little bit deeper in listing content with our ls commands. For example, being able to see hidden files, or being able to see files with permissions. These are going to come into play later uh, in later con videos, however, being able to see some of our content with specific structure or uh, meaning makes uh, it a little bit easier. So let's go and let's jump in and let's go through some of this. All right, let's get logged into Kali, open up terminal. And first thing I want to do is where am I? I'm at this little sign here, but what does that mean? I'm going to issue a PWD and that's going to give me my present working directory. I'm currently located in root slash home slash Kali. That's my location. If I want to change a directory, I want to go up to just home, for example, I can do cc dot dot. And that takes me up to my home directory. I'm now underneath home. And you'll also see it here as well. I want to do underneath my roots. So I can do cd dot dot. And that takes me all the way back to my very beginning. PWD to prove it. But now I want to see what's there. I can do a dir. DIR is pretty common in Windows, that's directory, or I could do an LS. LS is more predominantly Linux, and LS is the proper command that you should be using. Well, this will list our locations. Well, I want to go ahead, I want to go into my uh, temp location. So I'm going to do cd slash tmp. Hit enter, and I'm now there. I can do an ls, and I can see what files are there. I can see what content is there. If I want to go directly to a different directory without having to go all the way back up to root, I can do that too. If I do a cd forward slash, and I know the directory path, I want to go to my far file. I can do that. So I didn't have to go CD all the way back up to root and then go down to var. I could just go directly to my location. I want to see what's in my var. So I'm going to do an ls and I can see the different directories. Clear will clear the screen so I can go back to the very top. So that lists some basic content for our change directory ls in our directory. I want to see what user I am, for example. So who am I? That will let you know what user. I happen to be logged in as the user Cali, so that's what I was expecting. I want to see some commands. So I want to see a cd. I want to see some uh, additional switches. So I'm going to do cd tac help. Help doesn't really work. So I'm going to do cd tac h. And again, it doesn't understand that. However, I can be able to do, what's interesting is cd actually is one of the hardest ones to get help for. So we can also do a uh, man, for example. Man is short for a manual. I'm going to do a tac f and I'm going to do cd. The tac f is one of the better ways to give us options for a specific section. And again, even in the manual, it doesn't show anything. And we can verify by that by doing a mantac a cd. So there is no manual entry for cd. So first of all, not every command will have a help section. If I do mantac f ls, for example, I get the ls is going to list directory content. If I do man tac a ls, 
I'm going to see all of the additional switches. And I can hit space bar to go all the way down. I can do a Q to quit, but this will give me context how to use the command. So man is typically one of the better ways to get help for some of the commands. However, do not assume that there is a manual or a man page for every single command because there is not. All right, so I'm going to clear. So I'm going to do an ls, and that shows me my directories. Earlier, I did say that we were going to go over some of the ls commands. So I'm going to do ls tac lowercase a. This will show all files included, including hidden files. So there are some hidden files here, but not kind of what we were expecting. So I'm going to go ahead and let's do cd to my www folder. I'm going to do ls tac a. And again, there really aren't any hidden files there. HTML, ls tac a. So there are not always hidden files everywhere. So next, I'm going to do ls with attack uh, d. This will list our directories. So there are no specific directories that are directly there. And it should list them with a forward slash, but they're not. So I'm going to do ls with attack l. It's going to list these for directory, even though this ls attack d did not give us what we were expecting. This will give our directories. It will give us our permissions. I'm doing a separate video with our permissions later. This is the user, group, other content, and uh, dates accessed and dates created. So this provides the long format with hidden or with permissions. What happens if we want to do our long format, but we also want to see hidden files? We could do an ls space tac l and a. This will list our directories and our hidden files. I'm going to do clear. So I'm going to go ahead and let's do a long format with file size. I'm going to do ls tac ls. So that's going to be our long format with file size. File size is actually already included. Next will be our reverse order. I don't like this order. I want them in reverse. I want www to be at top, not backup. So ls space tac r. It will list them slightly different. Can we combine uh, certain uh, command sets? Can we do ls tac lr? We can. It doesn't always work, but our L is about uh, long format with permissions. Here are the permissions. Our R is about doing our reverse order. That's what we have. So we have a specific set that we can do it. Lastly, I'm going to do LS TAC capital R. Our TAC R lists recursively directory uh, structure, and it actually lists a ton of content. Again, recursively means do it for every directory that is underneath where we are looking. So, because we were looking at our, and I actually listed too much content, because we were underneath our var it was going to do an ls uh, for every single directory that we had there. I'm going to do clear ls. So the ls space tac capital R will do an ls for each one of these locations and for each subdirectory that's in them and each sub subdirectory and so forth. So to prove this, I'm going to go to I'm going to go to our home directory. So I'm going to do cd I'm going to do shift squiggly line. 
That will take us to our home directory. I'm going to do a ls tech capital R so that I can see the content of all of my directories. So these are my directories. This is the content in my directories. There's not a lot there. So I'm going to do a combination ls tac l tac capital R. I can see my directories. I can see the content in those directories. It's a fresh and solo of Kali, so I don't really have a, a lot there. But that is a basic understanding of basic navigation and how to understand the location of where we are, looking at PWD and the LS commands. If you have any questions, please reach out. Thanks.